Hey Foreverlies, it is just Maddie in this video and today we have a very awkward open space right next to me. You know what that means and you also probably read the title if you clicked on this video. I mean, I mean sometimes I just blindly click on my videos too, maybe this is on your autoplay and you've never watched my channel. Welcome. <laughs> Stay for a minute, I promise it's not as bad as it seems. This will be posted on Wednesday, April 21st and it will be 2021 when I'm posting this, it is 2021 right now for me. And if you're watching this in the future, it might be 2022. Or if you're watching this from the past, that'd be really cool. The day I will be posting this will be the two year mark since this video was posted. Things were a lot different in this time of my life. Because I, I never did a reaction to this video. I haven't watched it since it came out, I believe. And I don't remember a lot of the things that I talked about or what the other moms talked about. I'm really excited to get on and watch this again. I was actually supposed to film with Jubilee again. I flew out to LA and everything and then ended up not being able to check into my hotel. So I didn't get to film with them recently, but whenever I was asking them about the filming process, I asked if they allowed reaction videos. They were like, oh yeah, yeah, we do. And I realized that PewDiePie, huge YouTuber, if you don't know who PewDiePie is, why do you know who I am? But he is, one of the biggest YouTubers, I think he's the most subscribed person on the platform, he reacts to a lot of Jubilee's videos. I don't think he's reacted to mine yet. If he does, I will probably cry. If PewDiePie makes fun of me, I will cry. 100%. 100%. This video is, do all teen moms think the same? Jubilee does this series called Spectrum, and it basically gets a group of people who are within the same margin of the way they're defined, such as like, did one about Christians, Trump supporters, Democrats, liberals, like, they just take different groups of people and see if they all think the same. It's really interesting and I was so lucky to be part of this and I'm so surprised that I haven't reacted to this already because I usually react to the videos I'm in. I literally reacted to Kids Meet a Teen Mom twice, I think. So I'm going to play the video, y'all can watch along right here and we're gonna, we're gonna see. I'm really excited to watch it. I haven't seen it in so long. What's up, good humans? Welcome to another episode. You guys requested this one a lot. Thank you, Yasmin Rubio. We hope you guys enjoy. In Texas, it's That's actually funny that the person who requested it was Yasmin, because Yasmin Switzer, another teen mom, was actually in LA too, and supposed to be in it too, but I, I don't know what happened, why she wasn't in it. I don't remember, but she was supposed to be in it too, so I thought that was funny, but my friend Allie's in it too, so it was really fun. I think this is the first time I met Allie in real life. Abstinence, abstinence, abstinence. They told us in the health class just not to have sex. It's hard. They started with something I said is like the teaser for the video. That makes me feel really special. Aw, do you believe? You're too sweet. <laughs> it's probably just because I talked so much they couldn't fit in all the things I said into the other ones that they had to put one up there because I literally talk so much. It's ridiculous. Art, I mean, every guy's nightmare is getting their girlfriend pregnant and sometimes it comes Do I have through. a camel toe? This was so fun to film too. Ew, my legs! Okay, so they had us line up shortest to tallest. And I saw some people comment like, oh, Allie and Maddie, they were like, cause I remember this was like at the time where I would read all the comments on every video I did. Like, it's funny how they had Allie and Maddie in the front and they were like the first people who did YouTube. No, Th they uh, had us line up shortest to tallest and me and Allie were just the shortest. I'm actually taller than Allie, but her lucky butt was wearing heels. So I was the shortest because I was also the one who got pregnant youngest, so I think being a teen mom kind of like stunted my growth, but <laughs> I don't know what I was wearing. That is horrible. I have a grease stain on my shirt. <laughs> Why do I make that face? Allie, I love her. Just for like the sake of the video, to keep it short and sweet, 
I already am elaborating too much. I'm not going to put in, I am watching the other girls right now and I'm just kind of like watching what they're saying. They were all so freaking sweet. But for this video, just for the sake of it, I'm just gonna be reacting to what I said and my appearance in it. So if you want to check out the other girls that were in the video and what they said, Jubilee's video, the full video will be linked down below. Just for the sake of the video to keep it short so I don't have like a 30 minute reaction video. Cause if I watch all of this, I will. If I like keep it all in, I will. These girls are so freaking sweet. After we filmed, we were all just crying and hugging because like, it was so emotional. It was so emotional. I don't know who said it. I'm, I'm getting the chills just thinking about it, but it was just kind of like, we looked at each other and we're able to see like, we're not alone. We're not alone in this world. We're not the odd one out. And it was just really special. But for the sake of this video, we're just gonna put in my parts. This says a lot about society. Wait, have, I'm from Texas, and in Texas it's abstinence, abstinence, abstinence. They told Period. us in the health they class actually put that in not both to parts. Nice. So I honestly didn't know pregnancy was so common. I thought like... I sound so stupid saying that, but I genuinely didn't know pregnancy was like a super common thing because I was, whenever I was like a young girl and I got pregnant, I was a huge fan of drama books and movies. In these movies, there would be like these couples that wanted kids so bad, but they were just struggling and struggling and struggling to get pregnant and have a baby. So I thought it was something that people struggled with a lot. Like I didn't realize if it happens, like it happens. It's not like a rare thing. It's like a high probability, but I was basically really dumb. I don't think that anymore. Don't worry. But I do sound really dumb saying that in this video, and I know what you're thinking. I am... Yeah, yeah, I think I'm the reason people think teen moms are dumb, now that I look back at this. It just happened sometimes when you had sex, sometimes you would get pregnant. I really do think that that should be very mandatory in school, starting in, like, middle school. Some of the girls in her grade are having sex, and she's, she's in sixth grade. That's, like, a real thing. Like, these young girls that are, like, 12 years old, are starting to become active in that sense. They need to know like what causes pregnancy. They need to know about birth control. They need to know about how to be safe. I get it's something that's uncomfortable, but it's just kind of like, you know how they say we teach about the wars in school because if we don't teach history, it's bound to repeat itself. You learn about bad things to become educated on them and know more about the topic. Know that these things happen and not everything's just butterflies and sunshine. It's the same with, um, sex ed it's like kind of an uncomfortable topic but if you know what bad things can happen they need to teach kids about it it's just something that kids need to be taught about teaching them about something isn't gonna mean they're gonna go out and do it <laughs> kaylee barney just texted me she said is a city near me because she's looking at houses in texas she said is blank ghetto and is a city near me <laughs> i love her Relationships change after you have a child. I'm pretty sure everyone went to agree because this is like It's literally inevitable Why did I say it somewhat like agree? I was entitled to now after having a kid it all changed that just changed my mind <laughs> Okay, see that's that's the power Allie has on people It's just like her presence is very powerful and she could like the way she talks. It's just so inspiring inspiring and she can convince you of like anything like she convinces me of good things but it's a dangerous trait to have like i wish i had that like i'd probably have a boyfriend by now if i had that trait change yeah. okay i did walk over <laughs> good job maddie the hardest part <laughs> okay so Ooh, I hope this doesn't start a fight. I don't know if Isaac's ever watched this video, but we were fighting really, really bad at this point, and oh my god. I could literally probably, I would be in contempt of court at this point, putting some of it in, because like, we had, we settled. We didn't like, go to court and have a judge rule it, but we settled, and everything's good now. Like, co-parenting's going great. No, no bad blood at all. That's why I'm not going to put part of this in this video. I'm gonna bleep some out, but I'll talk about some of it. Like, I just don't want, I can't post on my channel for liabilities. I don't feel this way anymore, so like, I... <laughs> Three, two, 
Oh my god. It was hard to watch. I was in so much pain at this time in my life. I was hurting so bad. Fiance. Well, I do come from a Hispanic family. Oh, my family, face. Also the religion. And you have I like, whenever someone's talking about something I'm jealous of, I'll like smile for the something. Like, I'll smile for them and be happy for them. But sometimes, like, I can't control it. And it'll just like, whenever I stop smiling, I'll like just show my true emotion. That was like part of that. Like, when I was 14, I got pregnant and my boyfriend was 14. I actually found out shortly after this that I was actually 13, according to my due date, when I got pregnant, so, yeah. 13 as well, and we had already broken up before I found out I was pregnant, though he was the only person I had ever been with, and after the paternity test- I remember, um, whenever I was talking about this, I was like, my voice was breaking, I was like so close to just breaking into tears and completely breaking right then and there. It's this was a really hard point in my life and I see that girl now and she like she was hurting and she was so strong and I thank her for being so strong and learning how to forgive to, so I could be the person I am today and it just it makes me sad like my heart is breaking for myself at this point like having to watch myself hurting like that but the hurting made me grow so much and I'm, I'm just I mean I can't help but be thankful for that it gave me strength and she that girl right there she's strong Test the court introduced visitation she was 10 months old she sorry she was 10 months old and she finally got to meet her dad and um, I haven't seen her in a few months and I don't know if I want him in her life I don't think it's healthy for her I'd rather do it alone than with him at this point. What you Yeah, that's that's hard to like watch myself say because it, it was just such a different point in my life. Like, I my mind's completely changed on the whole. I'd rather him not be in it. Like, I don't think it's healthy for her. I think it's so healthy for her to be with him now. He's really grown into such a great dad, and I like I was just kind of blinded by my the grudges I was holding, and it sucks that I let myself be so angry, but. Now we've grown so much and I'm really glad we were able to grow and I was able to let go of those grudges. And for guys you really have to be there to do that and sometimes they don't want to be there or they can't be there for that. Alex, they so want well to melt spoken. the teenagers, especially since they are still teenagers. They're still kids they and they want, to, they want to go party, they want to live their lives. So sometimes it's hard. I mean, every guy's nightmare is getting their girlfriend pregnant and sometimes it comes true. Ooh. We all go to the disagree. Strongly disagree. I'm pretty sure. We better. Strongly disagree. Strongly disagree. All of you. Thank you. So proud of us. I feel like I would. <laughs> Me too, Alex. Alex. I think there's a huge difference between supporting teen moms and supporting teens to become moms. I yes. Think there's a big I love. I love how she put that. Agree. Agree. Strongly agree. All of us. Babies are great. Give hugs. I miss them. We need a we need a reunite. Because I know it's annoying. No, 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 it's okay. Yeah, sure. Literally, that is such a mom thing. We all just. I'm gonna cry. Honestly, I just love when those kids are very, very. Oh my god. I get so emotional <laughs> when watching like old things like that. I get more emotional when I'm happy. Like I cry more when I'm happy than I do when I'm sad. I don't cry when I'm sad. I just cry when I'm happy. And like, I just remember how warm that moment was. Like it just felt like the sun was in the room just directly next to us. Like not in like the <laughs> fiery hot way, but just kind of like the warmth. And you could just like, it just felt like how a smile looks. Like when you see somebody smile and it's just so beautiful that it makes you feel like, <laughs> warm that's how it felt like just amplified by 100 times and it was just it was just so nice because it was so good to feel included and related to and oh my gosh <laughs> and Everly and Cartia they were so all the babies were so little like I still follow these moms and their kids are so big now it's been two years that's so crazy Jubilee 
I just want to say an incredible thank you for letting me be in this, just capturing these beautiful moments and normalizing something that so many people think so many negative things about. Make sure you go watch this video to listen to the other moms. You have to. Like, if you watch this, go right now and listen to what the other moms had to say. I just had to do only mine for time purposes. If you guys want me to react to the full thing, I will. I will. I don't mind at all. But it's gonna be a long video. But thank you guys for watching and please go watch Jubilee's video. It will be linked down below. But I have to go pick up my child from her dad's house now, so I am going to go. Make sure you like and subscribe to my video. Did I just say subscribe to my video? Did I just say subscribe to my I need to sleep. Um, make sure you like this video. Press the thumbs up button for the algorithm. Please, please like it literally just press press it. If you press it, like, it'll make a beepy noise, and it's really fun. It won't actually make a beepy noise, I'm sorry, I lied. Um, but subscribe to my channel, because I'm really cool, and swag. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm so tired, I got like three hours of sleep last night. And I've drank like four cups of coffee. I need to go, I need to go get my kid. Um, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, like this, subscribe. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.